All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video for the Mi 11X, also known as the Redmi K40 and the Poco F3. Now, Android 12 has been around for a very long time. Android 13 betas have been floating for Pixel devices for quite some time now. And recently, the beta 3.3, that is the latest beta of Android 13, has been ported from the Pixel 6 Pro to the Mi 11X. Now, I did use it for the last two days. I ran the benchmarks, tried a few games, and that is where a complete review of this ROM comes into the picture. If it is interesting, you can let me know in the comment section. I can probably make an install video later. But for now, we are talking about Android 13 Beta 3.3 complete review ported from the Pixel 6 Pro. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, it is being called Android 13 T or Tiramisu. I don't know what that is. Probably something sweet. That's how Android versions have been named. This is ported from the Pixel 6 Pro Android 13 Beta 3.3, updated on the 28th of June 2022. Now, the installation method, although I'm not covering in this video, I will show you that it's a little complicated and you do need a computer. So, yes, after watching this complete review, you can let me know if you want me to make an install guide or not. Now, the download is 1.9 gigabytes. Of course, it is an Android port, so it does come with G apps. Now, if we talk about the change log, updated to beta 3.3, fixed ACC audio bug. There was a Bluetooth ACC audio bug which has been fixed. Check Google change log for base change logs. We are not concerned with that. Now, moving on, let's talk about the bugs. Waiting for you people to tell. So, what the developer is trying to say over here is most of the things are working as expected and that is pretty good because my experience has been pretty decent as well. Now let's go back to the home screen. Now Android 13 is an incremental update. It does give you a lot of under the hood changes instead of a complete UI overhaul like we saw in Android 12. You know, material you, this change, that change. The almost entire look of Android was changed in Android 12. That is not the case with Android 13. Android 13 is more of a polishing, finishing sort of an update from Google, right? Now, let's talk about the changes first. First things first, what everybody is always excited about is the Easter egg. So if we go to about, it is still detected as a Pixel 6 Pro and Android version is shown as 13. So if you keep tapping on it, you will see a very, very similar Easter egg, which is available in Android 12 as well. But the moment you hit 12 o'clock, so for some reason, right now, the Easter egg is not working, but you do see a three over here instead of 12. So the one is completely not revealed. That is the new Easter egg. I'll probably throw in a screenshot somewhere on the video. And the security patch on this particular update is of June. Now, if you go to the app drawer, you will see that this search bar that you have over here, first of all, let's go ahead and quickly disable the dark mode. So let's go to display and disable dark theme, disable adaptive brightness. Now things should be much more clearer. So this particular search bar that you see in the app drawer is a little bit thicker, right? It's a little bit bigger compared to what it was in Android 12. Now, if you go to this particular option over here, now as you can see, you have Google Lens built into the search bar. And if you talk about this, you just have one option called preferences here. You can enable always show keyboard or disable it. And you have the option of search the web, manage search preferences. So that is one big change that they've made in beta 3.3. Now, if we talk about the nav bar, this particular gesture pill at the bottom, it is slightly bolder and thicker compared to what it was in Android 12. Now, there is one more thing. If you actually put the phone to say vibrate mode. Now, we will talk about the bugs though, but let's put it to vibrate. Now, as you can see, the vibrate indication over here is not available. It's available in the expanded status bar. So if you go to settings, you go to sound and vibration. You see this option always show icon when in vibrate mode. If you enable this, no matter what screen you are on, including the lock screen, this option will be displayed. So that is a very good indication to let you know that you are in vibrate mode. Now that is another change that they have made. Now, as far as this port is concerned, you know, vendor and blobs have been updated. Bluetooth and Bluetooth ACC audio have been fixed. So which is a really good thing. Now, as far as the camera cutout in the center is concerned, the padding for the notch has been updated. It looks much, much better. If we talk about the widget support in Android 13, 
you will see that not only the built-in widgets but also widgets for other installed apps are available and they are working much better compared to the 3.2 beta is what we are talking about here now the google tips section which you get in settings which is known as know your pixel this one has a slightly newer and bolder ui so that looks a little pleasing to the eye now that was everything about you know the changes that have been made to this particular port along with the beta 3.3 changes but the main question is when you install this port on me 11x can this be used as a daily driver how has my experience been and that's what we are going to talk about next so first things first smoothness the smoothness on this rom is absolutely good just like any other aosp android 12 rom it is working just fine if you go to settings you go to display you will notice that you do have a smooth display option which gives you 90 hertz but if you actually go to about phone and you keep tapping on the build number you will get an option of developer options in system right and over here you will see an option of force refresh rate so show refresh rate as you can see we are on 60 right now and four speak refresh rate that's when you'll get the complete 120 hertz goodness and even the google feed is smooth as butter it is working absolutely fine now in day-to-day -day usage i've not encountered any major issues but there are a few problems which might stop you from using this as a daily driver so because we don't have device certification i would not recommend you guys to use your banking applications over here although if you root it there are other ways to fix it and stuff like that now let's talk about the important things the charging speed for me has been pretty decent and yes this is a small change of android 13 that the power button and setting shortcut is on a different location now but that's that's android 13 for you the animations are slightly different and stuff like that but if we talk about the battery life the battery life on this rom has been splendid it has been great for me it has been doing a very good job and i've not had any problems with the charging or the battery life on this particular rom now let's also talk about other factors like making calls receiving calls wi-fi calling everything has been working fine google camera for me works okay so no problems there the performance on this rom has really not been to the 11x levels when you compare it with miui and stuff let's let's quickly go to google photos over here now as you can see the cpu throttled to 89 percent of its max performance and the average score was 231 186 gips if we then continue to enter to benchmark you will see that i got a you know unusually low score of 625 that is a little weird although the device was cooled down before running this benchmark and if we further go to geekbench you will see that the single core and multi-core scores are not exactly like miui you get around 3000 to 3300 in multi-core and about 1000 in single core so yes you know gaming performance was decent but this is not a hardcore performance rom and the whole os android 13 in itself is in beta right now so i would not request you to you know go ahead and expect a lot as far as this rom is concerned now as far as the bugs are concerned let me tell you sometimes the touch freezes very randomly sometimes the volume panel will take some time to come up these are sm some small bugs that i have noticed it happened once in this video as well you don't get device certification for the play store you don't get unlimited google photo storage now as far as the screen refresh rate is concerned you have to go to developer options and you know force peak refresh rate so these are the small annoying bugs that you have and of course you know this is beta so what do you really expect but if you want to flaunt the latest operating system from the google pixel 6 or google themselves this is definitely a port worth a try it can definitely be used as a daily driver if you're not too much into banking applications and stuff it is not a huge security risk but if you want to try it try it at your own risk a step in the right direction many more such ports should be coming to the 11x let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.